106.1 and we're in the building and I'm your girl C so insistent and your boy Casey and you know we have Tom G in the building finally Tom is in the building <laughs> his, his mixtape called wave control and he saw some crazy waves come across that bridge you know, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Fact, you brought the waves. I got, I got them in my phone. Look, I was, I was filming them on the way here. Look, the waves going crazy. Crazy, same thing. <laughs> crazy. So the mixtape brought the waves. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely. what it was. Brought the weather. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this new mixtape. Let's talk about why you love it. Let's talk about what's going on with it. Tell the city, you know, where your head was when you were in the studio. How you came up with the title, the name. Let's talk about it. Um. I came up with the name just simply on, you know what I'm saying, wave control is basically stating like, you know what I'm saying, I created the wave in the 813 as far as, as far as my lane of music, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, when I drop something, it's, it's, it's going to definitely be a wave. Come on. That's all right. So, you know what I mean, it's, something, it's, it's almost like a, a control substance, but I call it wave control, you know what I'm saying, instead of calling it control substance, because when I drop it, you already know it, it's, it's straight crack to the streets. And that's what it's doing right now, man, as soon as I put it out, man, like, you know what I'm saying? The next day we was getting rave reviews. You feel me? We had like 300,000 on my mixtapes right now, man. We just be going crazy in the street right now. Really? I see the smile on your face. So you feeling good right now. You should. You should. You should feel good. And you know, I'm sitting here, right? Because I hit Tom up and he said, yeah, I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you back. I'm going to get you. Get, yeah. You know, Casey. Fact, let me get y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey posted him <laughs> on, on IG and I was feeling a little I lost. I, well, get it at. <laughs> I was feeling a little lost. So Tell us about okay. We we address where the title come from. So right. like it's the it's that push that yeah. on the street. So yeah. let's talk about where your head was when you were going in. Some of the tracks like I started listening to some of the tracks, and then first of all, let me say on behalf of School Life After Dark for allowing us to use you um, your music on our exclusive um, wow. marketing material. Yeah. So you know we That's show much pleasure. so much That's love. That's our pleasure. Yeah. So <laughs> like it means everything. So especially the joint. Um, the one we used on the on our videos. I, know, I like that. One. Yes. So I have to talk about where you came from. The um, was it the tell me the old like, school? Yeah, the, yes. You like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Old like, school. That's a that's a joint for the females, man. You know what I'm saying? Just like kind of like I be trying to make different type of music. You know, everybody make music by you know having sex and all that. Now, I do that too. You feel me? But I'm trying to. I was just trying to like get to put the females in a um in a state of mind where like you know I know what you like. Like I know. What type of dude you like? You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, and you know they 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 loving that record, man, because you know some of the stuff I'm saying on that, that's the kind of dude they like. And if they don't have that kind of dude, they wish they had that kind of dude. You know what I'm saying? So when you hit the studio, you go in with the thought of your audience, not just you know the fellas. Yeah, when I when you I, do when it when for I'm the ladies. Records, I'm thinking like whatever the record is I'm rapping about uh, or putting together or orchestrating, I'm thinking about that audience. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, I could actually see it, like, you know, transpire before it, before it even come out. While I'm writing it, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the, re the, the responses and reactions on top anyway. You know and I, I mean? believe that's why you get the love that you get um, from the 813, especially from me. Because, like I said, you know, me and my children, we was Tom G all day. You know, and here I am, a young teen mom, and it's like our, our music was the same. You know, a lot... A lot of people don't understand that, but your parents and the children can, they still, they riding together and the music was clean enough yeah. and it was that feel good, that home feel yeah. that we, we vibe together. Yeah. Me and my kids, yeah. like, yesterday when we was at our house, we, like a old we old had school. all old school and Tom G riding. They put on City Boy. We put on City Boy. I heard y'all playing that when we was on the way. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, so I'm a true fan. So when the first time I got the opportunity to meet you, one of the things that stand out to me is that this is really your voice. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say that. They be like, oh, he really sound like that. I'm like, 